Salute to Hoops, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. All hoops all the time. Hope everyone enjoyed their holidays. Uh, we're, we're one holiday down. We got two more to go. Christmas and New Year's are coming up. So let the madness begin as far as that goes. Hope everyone enjoyed their Thanksgiving. If you celebrate it, that is. If not, that's cool too. I was at work for Thanksgiving. Making the money to support the addiction. Excuse me, the hobby. Before we get into today's video, you see it's going to be a little, little bit of a different video today. Before we get into it. Like and subscribe for me, please, guys. The channel's growing slowly, but surely. We're at 117 subs. Trying to get to 150 by the end of the year. Hopefully we can do it. If not, that's cool, too. Uh, I appreciate the support nonetheless. In the background today, we got Lucas Simonic joining us. Uh, decided to display him today. I bought all three of these cards off of a uh, guy on Twitter. Uh, for seven dollars, uh, you guys know I'm a Lucas Simonic fan. Got faith in the kid, and hopefully we can see him play this year. Uh, speaking of playing this year, the season does start in less than one month. Super excited! I know you guys are too. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into today's video. So, uh, I went to visit my girlfriend uh, about a week ago or so. Uh, you guys know that when I go out there, I try to do the whole uh, LCS visits, uh, which we did again. Uh, this time around, I uh, went to three or four, which was cool. Uh, got a lover for supporting this addiction as well. I mean, hobby. Uh, so, uh, yeah, she definitely supports uh, taking me out there uh, to the shops. She's she's cool with it. Um, really supportive. So, got a lover for that. Moving on, uh, we're gonna go through kind of the um, my my haul that I got out while I was out there. So these are going to be all cards uh, from three different shops. Uh, we're going to go through these guys first. So all these cards I'm going to be going through, I paid about uh, 65 cents a pop for, which isn't bad. A lot of them are going to be just kind of my personal PC or guys that I loved back in the day when I was kind of some childhood guys. So uh, without further ado, we can get into it. We got some couple, three Allen Iversons here. Uh, we have the... Upper Deck Black Diamond, Allen Iverson, another Upper Deck, uh, 2001, and then the Allen Iverson uh, Tops Reserve, which is a pretty nice card. I love the little retro look to it. Hard to believe that it's considered retro now because I remember watching Allen Iverson play on the 76ers, so feel feeling a little old here, and I'm dropping cards, so... Uh, we did get a few Ray Allens. Love the one of him on the uh, Seattle Supersonics here. Uh, I was just a huge fan of the Supersonics for whatever reason, um, especially those those jersey combo, the color combo on the jerseys. Maybe we'll see them come come back eventually. Then we got Ray Allen on the Bucks here for the upper deck series. A lot of Vince Carter's I picked up. Uh, Stadium standout. I just love that picture. Like, that's just classic Vince Carter. Love the old school jersey. These are now throwback jerseys, but back then they were actually the real jerseys. Same with these guys right here. Uh, the Revolutions. Another classic Vince Carter. Boom. Love the stadium standout as well. Probably a uh, expensive card at, at one point in time, but not so much anymore. Another uh, looks like this was the same series as the Allen Iverson one. And then just some Topps Heritage. Vince Carter's uh, random. Yes, I know. We got some Darius Miles. I was actually a huge Darius Miles fan when I was a kid. Uh, but his career also did not pan out very well. Injuries, and he was kind of one-dimensional. Never really developed a jump shot or anything like that, unfortunately. But he was a fun player to watch, especially on that Clippers team. Uh, moving on here, we got some a bunch of like tops chromes, which are with which I thought were pretty cool. I couldn't pass them up. Yao Ming, w one of the uh, all-time greats on the Houston Rockets, career didn't last long, but a legend in his own right. And we got Kwame Brown, 
the legend himself making a play over Vince Carter, former number one draft pick, arguably one of the biggest busts in NBA history, but still a cool card to have, in my opinion. Did he make this shot? I think we all know the answer to that. He probably did not make that shot. We got Anthony Penny Hardaway, Topps Chrome on the Suns. Corey Maggette, another one of my favorite players on this Clippers team. Him, uh, Darius Miles, and Quinton Richardson were uh, quite the, the trio to see. Chauncey Billups on that 2003-2004. I believe this might have been the year the Pistons won the championship. And then we got the Topps finest, Dennis Rodman, Lakers jersey. Not a Lakers fan, but I am a huge Dennis Rodman fan. And uh, these Lakers cards of him are kind of a little bit on the more rare side since he didn't play too many games for them. I also did find this Drew Holiday rookie card uh, tops in the box as well. Honestly, it looks like it's in pretty solid condition as far as uh, like centering goes, top and bottom, left to right. I think that might uh, make the case there. A couple more cards here. We got the Yao Ming. Uh, sweet Sig. I picked this up uh, because mainly because it was numbered. It's uh, 85 out of 99. Great condition. Little cosmetic damage, as you can see, but still a cool card nonetheless. It's Donovan Mitchell is po poking out. This is actually bought at another store. So, uh, actually, this store here. So, we'll just start with the Donovan, Donovan Mitchell, I suppose. So, this one uh, has the $5 price tag on it. Talk the guy down to 3 bucks. Yes, a negotiator of the year here. Uh, cool card. Can't say I'm a huge Donovan Mitchell fan. Especially, I'm not a really a huge Contenders fan either, but 37 out of 75 for $3. I figured, why not, you know? Then we got Scottie Pippen, 0203 when he made his little comeback to the Chicago Bulls. I remember that. That, was, that, that Chicago Bulls team was just awful. Kobe Bryant, the Z-Force. Super throwback looking. Gotta love that. I believe this is 1997. So pretty close. This is a second year. Kobe Bryant. Then we have the Kobe Bryant Platinum. Old school looking. 0304. When he was the Black Mamba for sure. He was destroying people in 0304. KG. And then one of the favorite cards that I got in the this entire haul, this Dennis Rodman, uh, Bowman Sterling. Beautiful card. Edges are great for the, these thick cards. They're super sketchy when you get them because the edges and uh, corners seem to wither away just because of their delicacy. So, uh, but I, like I said earlier, I'm a huge Dennis Rodman fan game worn jersey i think i paid 20 dollars for this so a little on the steep side at least for my budget but i could not pass it up uh, that's going to go straight into my pc for sure we'll put those over here and then we'll get to the fat stack i bought these at the collectible corner uh in long island if you haven't gone there you should go if you're in the area check them out a lot of product not a lot of boxes to go through as far as basketball but i did find the box and picked up some decent cards so all these have the are still in the plastic and have the prices on them so we'll just go through these very quickly we have the man the myth legend himself gary payton panini crusade majestic game worn jersey five dollar price tag on him and i mean who could who could pass that up a legend like him we then have the Tracy McGrady Crusade, Panini Majestic. Same deal with the Game Worn Jersey. Same deal with the price tag on him, $5. One of my favorite players growing up was Tracy McGrady. Was sad to say, see him never win a championship, though. That is the downfall. Great career, nonetheless. Had himself a couple injuries, but still love him. Then we have the Dikembe Mutombo. Perennial materials from National Treasures, 2012-2013. Uh, Dikembe Mutombo, a legend, for sure. Played in the league for forever. Uh, I think he was on like six or seven different teams. Game War in Jersey, this is numbered to 149 and I paid $5 for this as well. Excellent condition on all these. Can't pass them up. 
Next, we have a, a Greg Oden card. I know. I paid $5 for him also. But I was actually a huge Greg Oden fan when I was a kid. So that's why I kind of bought this, just for the nostalgia. Has the game-worn jersey and everything. It's a pretty cool-looking card. The uh, silverish hollow going on around it. And it is numbered out of $4.99 for 5 bucks. Next, we have Vince Carter. Nice, huge patch on here for the Select 2018 X-Factor. 5 bucks for him. It's not numbered or anything like that, but... Vince Carter on the Sacramento Kings is prime time Vince Carter for sure. Next we have Miles Turner on card auto, highly revered for the Grand Reserve, numbered out of 99. And five bucks on the Miles Turner. For a guy like Miles Turner, I'll pay five bucks for this all day. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Can't wait to see what he does this year. He was kind of a, he was pretty much a beast last year for Indiana, so. Next, we got the Challenging the Champ Penny Hardaway Game Worn Jersey. Definitely not prime time Penny by any means. This is more Anthony Hardaway, as this is a uh, Phoenix Suns. But $5, definitely couldn't pass it up. I was a big, I don't know who wasn't a Penny Hardaway fan back in the day. So, had to get him. This card is really cool right here. Michael Ray Richardson. A lot of people don't know him. Played on the Knicks. This is a appears to be the <clears throat> college card of his. It's not numbered or anything like that. Five bucks though. I will take it all day. Didn't last long in the NBA, I believe. I watched a documentary on him a couple years ago, and he fell into like some drug and alcohol addiction issues. Uh, interesting story though. I believe it's the I believe the documentary is called "What Happened to Michael Ray." If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend. Last but not least. One of the coolest cards that I picked up also, this Ray Allen 2015-2016 National Treasures Magenta Plate. As you can see, one of one. I uh, purchased this for $10, guys, and it might be the best 10 bucks I've, I've ever uh, spent in my life. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Anyway, I don't know what the value of it is really, but I don't have any one of one cards. The best I've ever pulled was like a out of five, and it was Marvin Williams or something like that. So to own a one of one of a legend like Ray Allen, I will definitely take it. And for 10 bucks, I will definitely, definitely take it. So yeah, at cool condition, cool card. Uh, probably definitely keep this in my PC. And it's just cool to say that I own a one of one, especially the magenta printing plate. So, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys, that concludes the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the haul. A little bit of a different video for you, for you guys, as I stated in the beginning. But I um, thought it'd be cool to just kind of share with you my, my findings when I go out in the wild and get to roam free. So that concludes it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I got a bunch of videos uh, lined up as far as um, new new content and such. So just look look for, forward to that. Love making the videos for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.